What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, I had leftover Mexican food and a pot of coffee. This frame rate is bad, I'm sorry. And a pot of coffee. Um, and uh, I'll know what I'm having for lunch and I, I'm not having anything for lunch. And I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner. Uh, my parents are coming home today. Right now they're on the, on the highway home. They're like 113 miles away. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah, yesterday my battery arrived. Check it out. It's pretty big. <laughs> I knew it would be this big. Um, it's actually really cool because, you know, let me place this here. Okay, yeah, that works. Um, when I open up my laptop, right? Hold on. I should make sure that... Okay, there. Um, when I open up my laptop, right, it's at a very, very good typing angle, right? Because it's like pointed upwards. You know, there's a reason why there are those little legs at the backs of keyboards. It's because that's a better typing angle to have the keyboard facing upwards. So, or facing towards you. Um, so it has a really good typing angle. Um, when you're holding it, where this is a pretty good handle, you know, it's easier to hold. Um, it's more room for the passive cooling on the bottom. The active cooling is over here, you know, but the passive cooling on the bottom, more space for it when it's on a table. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just, um, it's really cool. I'm really happy with it. Um, there was a sticker right here and I was like, why is there a sticker right on the side of, um, my battery? This is annoying. That looks ugly. So I pulled it off. It was a void warranty sticker. So I voided my warranty. Um, you know, oh, well, you know, I don't, you know, I think it'll be fine. This isn't actually an official battery from Lenovo. Um, I just got like a, like a, the, like a $30 battery from Amazon, honestly. Um, okay, so I did, I did a lot of research on the validity of third-party batteries because originally I was under the assumption that you shouldn't really trust third-party batteries because you don't know what they're going to do with them. Uh, but I looked at a lot of forum posts, a lot of Reddit posts, I looked at some articles and, um, you know, people said that third-party batteries are like fine. So I, I, you know, I did a, I, I just bought a third party battery. Um, you know, I'll update you guys if there's something wrong with it, but um, you know, the official Lenovo ones were like $120. And this one was like, I keep changing the number because I don't remember exactly what it was, but this one was like 35. Um, but yeah, you know, yeah. It's cool. I, I'm really happy with this battery. Um, I also ordered some other stuff. I ordered a, um, the heatsink in the ThinkPad T480 is pretty bad. Um, it comes with a better heatsink if you get the dedicated GPU in it. Um, but since I don't have the dedicated GPU, it decreased, um, the amount of pipes in the heatsink to like the fan or whatever, um, from two to one. Um, and that's just kind of bad because the CPU is pretty, still a pretty good CPU and it just has a worse cooler, right? So, um, I got the, I also got the, um, the cooler that's supposed to go on the model with the GPU with two heat pipes and that should make my CPU run a little faster without throttling as much. Um, and I also got some like really good thermal paste. Um, it's weird, like a weird gel. I did like 10 minutes of thermal paste research. It seems like the best thermal paste. Um, and uh, I also got a glass trackpad. That glass trackpad is arriving on Wednesday. Um, and you know, honestly, it's such a, like it's such a nothing thing. Like this, trackpad is fine. Like I've only ever used plastic trackpads and you know, this one's fine. Maybe I'll be enlightened when I get this glass one, but I honestly don't care how late it's arriving. I think it's shipping from China. I think if it was shipping from China, it'd be like a couple weeks actually. So I'm actually, I, I, I might just be far away, you know, but, um, yeah, I told, I, I totally don't mind the shipping. Um, you know, that's okay. I was just installing something. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, it, you know, it's cool. I'm happy with it. Um, as you can tell, my i3 isn't really set up. Of course I should be doing a screen recording, but, um, yeah, I open it up. ZSH isn't set up. You know, i3 isn't set up. I don't have a wallpaper. Um, the reason why is because I've been trying to figure out this, um, sorry, no, my lips are a little tapped. Um, the reason why is because I've been trying to figure out this issue with, um, tail scale. For those of you who don't know, tail scale is basically this magical, magical service. Um, where you set up a tail scale account and then you connect your computer to it like it's a VPN and then you connect your like server to it like it's a VPN and you connect your laptop to it like it's a VPN. And then without any port forwarding or anything, they're all just connected in like their own little network. 
Um, it's like, um, never mind. Um, it's really, really cool, and you don't have to do any port forwarding. It's like a front end for wire, wire guard. It's a little proprietary, which is spooky. Um, I'll probably, once I get tail scale working and I kind of get how it works, I can probably switch to a more open solution, but, um, you know, tail scale, great service. Uh, but I've been trying to figure it out because, um, you know, when uh, my NAS server and my laptop are connected to tail scale, um, I'm able to ping my NAS server just fine, but I can't SSH into it. And, uh, you know, I thought enabling SSH on my NAS server, which apparently wasn't enabled, uh, would fix that issue. No, fixing SSH on my tail scale Docker container, right, would fix the issue, but um, apparently it didn't. Uh, and it just says that, like, my username, like, is denied. And it's strange because according to the default, like, configuration, it should just allow everything through. So I made a post on Reddit about it. We'll see. Um, so far, I've just got very one... I just got one very annoying commenter, um, but you know, you know how people on Reddit are. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm genuinely really thinking about getting a ceramic coating on the outside of this plastic case. I might get the plastic case out and just like spray paint some sort of coating on it, some anti-fingerprint coating, because uh, you know this is evil. This is an evil, evil thing happening to me, um, and it's it's evil how how many fingerprints this picks up. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this battery. Um, I was also able to take off the window sticker. The window sticker very intentionally leaves, like, residue on it. I don't use windows. I wasn't going to use the windows key on here, so um, I just uh, peeled it off. But it came with all this residue, so I just use a, um, like, a wet wipe to just wipe it off. I just kept going, and it's good now. Um, you still see some stuff on it, like, as if I pressed it with my fingerprint on here, but, like, it's fine. Like, you can't, you can, oh yeah, there it is, you can see it. It used to be there, and it's, like, fine, it doesn't feel like anything, I can rub my finger over it, but you can definitely see it, uh, but I don't mind that. Um, that's it, pretty much. Yeah. I love this laptop so much, it's so nice. My only gripe is, you know, I thought I would get used to Control and FN being, like, swapped, but honestly, I still haven't gotten used to it, and that's kind of spooky, because school is starting, you know, near the end of the month, so, um, I, whoops, so I really feel like, you know, there's a setting in the BIOS to swap the two, to swap the two, I might do it. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, all right, see you, dude. All right, goodbye.